Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn about Python logging and how Python logging is very important aspect of any automation or software development activity when you are performing software development with Python language or any other programming language. Logging is very very important aspect of it and we need to understand how we can implement logging efficiently in Python programming. So the first thing we need to understand is why logging and what exactly is logging. Very simple term so if you are absolutely new will cover all of it so if you see this particular program right I'm hoping that you have already followed my Python tutorial previous tutorials so this is very simple program uh, wherein we have the two methods here to add the number so we can pass two numbers here and then if I want to add numbers it will return the addition of the number and then here it will return the multiplication of the numbers right now I've created an object of this particular class here and then I am basically printing the statements here right so printing if I talk about this print statement so I'm printing the addition of the number is basically the result of these two addition uh, two numbers right so this print statement if we talk about it is the statement which will if I run this particular program it will print the output whatever we have written here so the addition of the numbers and then the format the result into the console right so this is what the behavior of print is now when we write our programs or when we develop the applications printing on console is not sufficient because you will lost so once the execution will happen you are not storing it in any file and you will lost what messages have been displayed so logging comes in picture wherein you want to log the critical details or any information or warnings in your application into the file so that you can go back and look into the details of the logging or if there were any issues or information how the program is running which module has been called which class has been called and accordingly what operation has been performed so instead of using print in the overall application or in the automation framework we need to use logging right so print has its own place but logging will give you a more advanced features of logging the details into the log files and then referring them back in case you want to basically refer them back or debug any issues now if you see here these are the five log levels right so if you go to the official documentation of the Python logging so you'll see logging how to and here you will have this basic logging tutorial and I have got these levels directly from here right so if you see the logging levels what exactly they mean is that by default the logging level is set to the warning right so this is what the logging level is set in Python but we have the level debug info warning error and critical and you would have noticed if you have worked on some applications already you would have noticed if you have gone through some of the log files these are some of the information uh, that has been displayed that gets displayed in the log file so debug is detailed information if the level is set to debug it will log everything from debug and above right so it will log anything debug info warning error critical anything then if it is set to info it will log info and above by default the logging level in python is set to warning so it will log warning and above so warning error and critical if you set the log level to error it will only log error and critical if it is set to critical then it will log only critical messages right so this is all configuration so basically you can set to any level but these are the levels that you can set your logs to okay so usually we do the print statements but then how to implement logging in our application right so in order to do that the simplest way in python to implement logging is to import the logging module and you do not need to install anything for the logging module because logging module is built in within python so you just have to say import logging right and now if on this particular file say for example i want to print something right so let's let's use print first okay this is first statement right now if I just run this logging demo too so you'll see the first statement got printed here this is print statement this is will be displayed on the console output now in order to log this so what I can do is I can simply say logging 
dot a file say info right let's say i'll say login dot info and then run it you'll see nothing has been printed right if i'll change it to login dot warning and then run it you will see the log has been printed here warning root and we'll understand about root later and this is the first statement which has been printed so now this clearly explains us that the default level of logging is set to warning right so this is the simplest form of logging that you can implement in your program now coming back to this logging demo one now because we know that the logging is being set to the warning level so if i want to implement logging instead of print statements here so i can simply say logging prior to that i have to import the module right so i have to say import logging right import logging once the module has been imported i simply change the print statements to logging dot and because we know the default level is warning so i can simply mark it warning to print these right so i can say logging dot warning and now if i run this program so right click and run this now both the statements will be printed here along with the level the logging level so it will show the level it's the warning and the root level and basically the actual message that we want to display right so this is you will feel that this is similar to what we are doing in the print statement but actually we can move these logs to a file and we can configure logging to very very advanced level so we'll understand all of this but as of now to keep this particular tutorial simple we will just end it here this is the very basic of logging and how you can start with logging in python so import the logging module and then instead of your print statement start with logging dot warning because that is the default level that is set we will in the next tutorial change the level to debug and then we'll see that other statements are printed so before we end this say for example let's also because we know that if the level is set to warning anything above warning should be printed so error and critical should also get printed so if I change this so I have one statement for warning and if say for example I'll say the second one is the error okay and the third statement is critical right so all of these three should get printed right and anything which is info and debug right so i'm just replicating these statements to show you that anything which is info and debug won't get printed let me put it at the top right and here let me change it to info just to make it a bit clear that this is info this is debug all right so now i have implemented all the logging statements here and now because our logging level is set to warning right by default so let's see how many statements out of these get printed okay so let me run this and see it in action and you will see that warning got printed right from the first so info and debug got skipped warning got printed error got printed and critical got printed and from the second call the second method multiply warning got printed right because we have warning here so now we have clearly understood how to implement logging what is the default logging level what are the logging levels available right so these five levels in terms of interviews you might be asked go through them which level means what right and then how you can implement the very basic logging for any of your python program so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching